What's going on bunny lovers? We are the Bunny Bays and today we're here to bring you a video on the top five things that you need to consider before bringing a rabbit home. Before we do start though, we just need to stress that we are not experts or vets, we're just here to share our own experiences with our own little bunnies, Winston and Delilah. So let's hop in and take you through the list. key things to know about rabbits is that they're naturally sociable creatures. Mm -hmm. They love the companionship of their own kind. So I think from our point of view, we probably suggest keeping them as a pet, don't you think? Yep, definitely as yeah. a pet. Not only does two rabbits give you more rabbits to love, but when you're getting to sleep, they will have someone else to play with, which is super important for their well-being and happiness in their long lifespan. Yeah, actually, if you keep a rabbit on its own, it can become bored, lonely and depressed, which could lead to behavioural issues. So from our own research and understanding, the best pairing to keep is actually a boy with a girl. Like we have, we have Winston and Delilah, who have a strong pre-existing bond because they've been brought up since birth, which is an added bonus. Yeah, this is ideal because this is how they live in nature, so it's got the highest chance of success. The only thing we're going to say is that you'll need to get the rabbits neutered because you don't want uh, a litter of bunnies running around your house. Yeah, actually to add on to that point as well, even if you went to go down the route of getting a boy and a girl, you went down another route, even if it were just one bunny rabbit, you still need to get that rabbit neutered and we will cover the reasons why in a video at a later date. So how much does having a rabbit cost? Okay, so there are naturally quite a few costs that you need to consider before getting a bunny. And it's really important to get familiar with all of these before you take the plunge, because as we know, a bunny is for life, not just for lockdown. It is. So, before bringing them home, you will need to get a cage. This needs to be 1.2 meters squared minimum in size. Accessories such as a hideaway and litter box. We would always recommend a large sized hard plastic litter box that would fit at least two rabbits as they spend a lot of time in here. Hay, ideally this being timothy or meadow hay. Alfalfa hay can also be fed to young rabbits under the age of six months but should be done in moderation along with timothy or meadow hay. Non-clumping litter. Toys, for example some soft toys, chew toys or throw toys. Our rabbits especially love to chew on their straw mat. Bowls, for food and water. Bunny proofing materials. You can buy items such as skirting wall protectors or cable protectors, both of which will keep your home from being destroyed whilst keeping your bunny safe. Pet insurance. We'd really recommend this as if your bunny gets poorly, the bills can rack up quickly. We'd suggest to go on a website such as Money Supermarket or Compare the Market and do a comparison of the leading companies for rabbit insurance. You'll also need to think about a couple of other things, one of them being vaccinations. So there are a couple of vaccinations that you need to think about for rabbits. One of them being myxomatosis, which is a disease spread by fleas and mosquitoes, and also RHD1 and RHD2. Um, normally your vet would do these separately as separate jabs, which can cost 40 or 50 pounds each. But actually recently we had Delilah done and there is now a single jab that rabbits can have once a year. Uh, and this cost us around £69. We'll throw up the receipt on the video so that you guys can take a look. The other one you want to think about is neutering, and this is an absolute must for us, and we could probably do a whole other video on this topic. Yeah. Um, and there are several health reasons and behavioural reasons why you want to get this done, such as the reduction of cancer and taking out aggressive behaviour from your rabbit, um, and it will also allow them to live a much happier and longer life. So in total, I reckon we're spending about 50 to 75 pounds a month. And that does include 25 pound of pet insurance, which is quite expensive. Um, and again, these are the costs for our two Neverland Dwarf rabbits. So it may differ for you guys. If you have one rabbit, it could be around about 40 pounds a month for all your food and accessories and everything that you need and pet insurance. But we're spending around 50 to 75 pounds. So when it comes to giving rabbit space, there are a couple things that you need to think about. Number one, a safe space. So rabbits are prey animals. It is in their nature to look for places to hide. Whilst you may not be a predator, loud sounds or sudden movements can sometimes scare them, so it's critical they have a place they feel safe to hide away in, complete with a roof. We'd recommend getting a hideaway with two holes that act as an entrance and exit so the rabbit doesn't feel like it's a trap. This is the one that we use which is a great size for both Winston and Delilah to retreat to together. We would recommend a hideaway of this size if you have one large rabbit or two smaller ones. 
Okay, the other one you want to consider is living space. It's a real simple rule. The more space you can give your rabbit, the better. That's right. It might seem obvious, but in the wild, rabbits have unlimited areas mm -hmm. to roam. They are also highly energetic and very curious animals. So if they are able to be free roam, meaning they have total or near total reign of your house or flat, and little to no time at all in a cage, yeah. they will love you for that and it would be ideal. So now we're going to take you through a list of the realistic options of where you can buy your rabbit from in the UK. Okay, so the first of these options will be a pet shop. There are obviously lots of pet shops in the UK, especially large ones that sell bunny rabbits. Mm -hmm. If you do decide to get your rabbit from a pet shop though, just make sure that it is healthy and that it has been raised in a clean environment because unfortunately this isn't always the case. Yep, yeah, true. We'll drop a link in the description below so that we can give you some tips on how to check for a healthy rabbit. Yeah, the other thing you might want to just be wary of is that when you collect your rabbit, it is of the gender that it's described as. <laughs> You don't want to have a surprise further down the line, and this, surprisingly, is quite common. So option number two, professional breeder. There are professional breeders across the UK who are licensed by the local council and really ensure they know everything there is to look after rabbits and breed them correctly within a healthy environment. You can find one of these breeders by looking on the British Council website, or if you're in another country, search Rabbit Council on Google and you should hopefully be able to find a local Rabbit Council that can provide a recommended, recommended list of breeders. If you do talk to a breeder outside of these recommended lists, it's important to ensure that the rabbits they, that they keep are not housed in tiny wire cages or fed food like muesli, which can be an instant sign that this breeder is not well informed in the care for rabbits. So for us personally, we went down the professional breeder route and we found a breeder in our local area that had lots of good reviews from lots of people who'd purchased rabbits from them before. Um, we also got the chance to visit their house and check the conditions that the rabbits were being raised in and we were really happy with the way that they were being raised and they were given all the appropriate food and obviously had their mother's milk um, prior to eight weeks. So she had all the perfect signs for a good rabbit breeder and that allowed us to make our purchase. We'd love it if you guys could comment down below and tell us where you've got your rabbit from or where you're thinking of getting your rabbit from and why. So number five is maintenance and upkeep. So when we first looked into getting rabbits, we thought it would be such a doddle mm. you just pop them in a cage with some hay, right? Wrong. Rabbits are a massive commitment. And there's a lot of things that you need to consider when maintaining their healthy environment. So here are a couple of items. So number one, Playtime. The rabbits need to have the ability to free roam from anywhere between 4 to 12 hours a day, or alternatively, have a rabbit run attached to their cage so that they can stretch their legs and run around a little bit. Number two is number two. You'll be cleaning their litter trays, including poops and peas, out on a daily basis, at least at the beginning of their life prior to being neutered. Number three is hay. So they need access to unlimited hay, so you'll need to keep an eye on this throughout the day um, and top it up with a diet of pellets and green leafy vegetables in the right quantities. Number four is stimulation. In general, rabbits are energetic and lively and love a lot of playtime, so you need to give them lots of things to play with, such as throw toys, obstacles and burrow boxes to give them the stimulation they need to stay happy. Don't worry, once you see your rabbit do a dead bunny flop after running around, it will all pay off. Number five, rabbits live for a long time, roughly seven to 10 years, sometimes more in the right home. So you'll be looking after them for a long time. They are a commitment and you need to be willing to make this commitment. Okay, so that was the top five things that you need to consider before bringing a rabbit home. We really hope that we gave you some extra knowledge that you maybe didn't have before. If you have any other points you want us to cover or you want us mm -hmm. to go into more detail on something we've already mentioned, please just drop a comment below. And if you like this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could click like on the video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this has been the Bunny Bays. And we're, we're hopping, hopping out, out of here. here.